Okay, and we're rolling. So, quick update. Last time, like, I ran out of the battery on my um, iPhone, so I wasn't able to record last final pieces, like, of the assembly. Where are we at at the moment? So, as you can see, we're pretty much done with all this. So, um, I did had to, as you can see, to repair this tab. It was broken somewhere over here. So, I used my soldering iron, which is not here, not here, not here. It's here. So, this cheap um, piece of tool, I think it was only like 12, 15 bucks from the Amazon. Um, I will leave a link in the description. So, if you guys can benefit from that, go ahead. Uh, so I just used it like just to weld the plastics together like like very quickly so just it can stay I sanded everything around like these broken areas I tried to weld it in these um, like, uh, I tried to weld these um, wires into the plastic and I poured epoxy on top of this. So, what I need to do now is actually remove this headlight and I will just quickly spray it with a wet paint. So it kind of looks nice and presentable. Other side of the headlight has no issues at all. I mounted a um, hood hinge on, on this side and believe it or not, as you can see here, uh, when I was mounting this side, this screw fell inside. So I need to remove this side of the of the fender to get a bolt and to screw this back in place. Then I will try to put the hood back on. Once I have that like hood on, I will move on this side to put um this fender and to finalize everything with the bumper also this side of the inner liner is kind of broken as you guys can see so i think my soldering iron will come in handy to help me out on this one right I'm trying to remember if there was a kind of, some, kind of, some, some kind of a mounting bracket on this side. Probably there is because when we check on a So, yeah, let's remove this fender and let's go from there. Welcome back to, I guess, welcome back to my um, part two of um, Mercedes Benz uh, swap. <laughs> So obviously we're missing few clips and parts from this one. Thank you. 
guess this as you can see a little bit bent on the top so let me use my good old hammer Okay, I guess the most important part comes in now. Obviously, I will show you this in a second. So obviously if there is a slightly imperfection with a centering this hinge, we need to see where this is coming from. Oh wow, it's perfect, beautiful. As you can see on this hood, there's two brackets, one on each side, which I'm obviously missing. I don't know, like the guy who painted this didn't re like return this to me. Together with this uh, hood hinge, I guess, I, or hood forever, and obviously this yellow thing. Um, okay, so yeah, I need to clip this back. This is fairly straightforward forwardish fairly straightforwardish because this goes let me let me guys put you back to your seat so you can enjoy this project with me Front, uh, front end because we are missing this this bracket on this other side. Um, so I can clip this nicely where they go, where they belong to. Um, let's weld this fender liner. Okay. Let's do that. And see what we can do. Mm. 
guess the headlights will be adjusted as the fender liner goes. Of, of course, we're still waiting for. So this is, as you can see, this was. This is what we were waiting on the other side. <sighs> Yeah, the good thing, let me, let me go to the side to show you. Okay, keys. thing about the vehicle is this. Okay, I don't know, since we're in the garage I will just crank it for like a couple of seconds. So I do have a check engine light on but guess what uh, that's actually let me show you the mileage okay okay 64.70 yeah so uh, what this is it's basically Somewhere around here, like we need to connect something on this on this bumper, and then this sensor. I guess this temperature sensor. That's what's showing on the check engine light. But we're still obviously. Okay, so it's getting closer and closer, I guess. Anyhow, this is everything for this episode. Unfortunately, I wasn't been able to complete whatever, uh, all, the th all the things that I had on my mind. So that's why you should tune in next week when we will hopefully assemble whole front end and take it for a test drive. And as well, in the next episode, I will go over price breakdown. I guess I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.